Kia ora. Ko te rā rua kui makati morale taku ingoa, Wai Claimant 1381. Huiri au nga Maui mua, tainua ki tōna tamaiti ko kare, a haere atuana ki ua pohati. I am here today to express my grievances of my ancestor, Ue Puhati. I also am here to support Mrs. Sue Nikura's submission, supply, validate her sworn statements, and to extend some of the points which has not had the chances to extend because of the time constraints. Denial of Ue Puhati means that there's a danger of cultural genocide. That does not happen and I agree that Ngāti Pro does not represent Ue Pohatu. We represent ourselves. How can they represent us when Ue Pohatu is traditional? When they inherited mana whenua, mana moana, mana tangata and mana tapu. According to the pepeha of Sir Apira Ngata of the Papa Tipu books, at the Ngata lectures and at Api Mahuika's MA theses. The United Nations Article 8 of the Declaration of Human Rights defines, prohibits, forced assimilation or destruction of culture and forced assimilation and straight away, this breaches our human rights. Humiliates ue puhatu and cause suffering and self-esteem to our pride and tradition to the iwi. And rightly so, we are entitled to restitution and compensation stressed by our former speaker, Sue Nikora. And I agree that we should be awarded rightly with the $132 million you have in your possession. And instead of paying to the corporate company of Te Runanga o Ngāti Pro, that money should rightly be paid to Ue Poatu, as ordered by notice by Sue Nikora. Sue Nikora is correct about representation by council. Presence and withdrawal of legal aid without representation is like going to the slaughterhouse and the possibility of non-protection. For us as participants, procedurally being used Theoretically, be exonerated against participants if the Crown so elects. Because we, the Māori, are not Pākehā, legislatively attuned to the vocabulary of the Pākehā. There is a mention of Ngāti Pro, which created corporate companies of Te Runanga or Ngāti Pro, Trump. <laughs> changing times with their designation which made me suspicious of confused renaming that they had, been, had something to hide. With the fishing, Ohukaimona, with the Ngāti Pro ignoring the traditional tribes. They ignored also fair play and did not facilitate fairly with the findings and the law of maritime admirably jurisdiction of the Confederation State of the Sovereign Māori Government of Aotearoa and the foreshore seabed taonga exploitation of a natural resource of Māori economy, which process and economic value was again ignored when in fact the control already established between the state of Aotearoa Māori and the British government. Bearing the fact that the title of the maritime law applied in our territory. For fisheries is extinct forever and has been monopolised by the actions of the corp corporate 
company of Te Runanga o Ngāti Whrei. I agree that you, Mr Minister, has tampered with my uepohato identity and I take exception to your awarding, stealing and settling in a corporate company with that whakapapa to uepohato and to Māui Mua. The Papa does include Ngāti Pro, does not include Ngāti Pro at all. Therefore, I shall relay to you the prestigious and senior Papa and the full rohe of Māui Mua and Ue Pohatu. The Papa, The Papa comes from Māui Mua, 22 generations to Ue Pohatu. And of course, 15 generations from Ua Pohatu to me. The rohe of Ua Pohatu has been designed and designated already by Mrs. Sue Nikora. The wrong settlements to Ngai Tahu of Waitaha, Rongofakata, Whanua Kai, Ira Kai Putahi, We Pere Trust, and Ngawiri. Te Koti are all corporate companies. The payouts and favouritisms I must mention as paying to the wrong people of resources and assets of Uepohatu, Papatipu traditional hands is really demeaning, unjust and an era of justice over and over again. But the greatest era of judgment is the awarding and settlements to the corporate company of Te Runanga o Ngāti Prau, had hit us where it hurts the most. We sit and we ponder at the great loss of our ancestors of Ngāti Maru, of Uapuatu at the hands of the colonial militia, and the kūpapa of Ngāti Prau, the murders, the tortures, the striking of heads, the Holocaust at Fato Opoko of 168 innocent women and children and 20 elderly men is unforgivable and amounts to genocide of the highest order. I suppose Ariki Tapairu, Ngākawaingarangi, remedial sovereign demand that this needs to be taken to the international UNO courts for breaches of human rights of indigenous status to the Hak before the Waitangi tribal to answer allegations of holocaust for murders and atrocities. I agree to her sovereign demand that the $132 million you can contemplate giving to the corporate company of Te Runanga o Ngāti Pro should be deposited <laughs> in our account. Ngāti Uapuatu Claiming Cluster at Westpac, Gladstone Road, Gisborne. Bank account number 100122 <laughs> Eight zero zero at your convenience before the Uapatu case is instrumented to go to UNO world as Ariki has commanded. Naku noa, na te rarua, kui maklachi morau, Ariki tapairu, ipeka paiawa, tarapihi. Kia ora.